the vehicle now on internal power. Sort of like you won. Everything is and there goes the first umbilical tower marking just about T minus 35. Should be under 30 seconds away from liftoff. Auto sequence initiated. Auto sequence initiated. Launch command issued for ignition. Second arm retracting. Launch command issued. You can see the engines firing, ramping up. Flight speed. Engines at maximum thrust. The turbo pumps are at flight speed. Standing by. Lift off. And lift off. Jeff Williams, Alexei Ovchinin, and Oleg Skropochka launching to the International Space Station. The first stage of the Soyuz booster delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from the four strap-on boosters and the single core engine. First stage going to be burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds into the flight, passing through the cloud layer. Let's see the crew on board. Again, Alexei Ochin in there in the center seat. Getting good reports of first stage uh, functioning throughout the launch so far, just one minute since liftoff. There we can see NASA astronaut Jeff Williams. This his third ride on a Soyuz spacecraft getting ready for his fourth flight into space, his third long duration mission on board the station. The crew on board the Soyuz still doing well. Keep your eye on that owl. Should start floating uh, in just a few seconds, actually. Expecting separation is 0, 0, 27. Copy. And you can see the jolt. The third stage has now separated the single Liquid-fueled engine shut down and dropping away in an altitude of about 125 statute miles. The third stage performs an avoidance maneuver by opening a valve in its liquid oxygen tank. Mission Control Moscow, how do you read us? Burlaki, Mission Control Moscow, you are loud and clear. How us? Uh, loud and clear. How was separation nominal in time? As scheduled or his final board. And getting word from the visiting vehicle officer, all antennas and the solar arrays have deployed. So all of those pre-programmed commands executed successfully. The cores and telemetry antennas out and the solar arrays deployed to begin providing power to the Soyuz spacecraft systems. Поверните. 
This is how it should be. Can you hear him? Do you want people to talk to him? Sure. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much, everyone, dear colleagues. We are honored to be here, especially in this year 
in the year when we're celebrating the 55th anniversary of the first flight to space, human flight to space. I wish you all the best in your lives and we'll be back soon. Exactly. Today is March 18th. 51 years ago, Alexei Arhipovich performed the first spacewalk. So it's very symbolic. <laughs> it is a very responsible moment in your lives. I wish you good luck. All the best. Godspeed. Alexei, Oleg and Jeffrey, I want to wish you a successful flight, soft landing, good docking, and I'm sure that you will perform the entire flight program successfully. And you know that all specialists uh, who are working in the space industry uh, has, have done a lot for this flight to become a reality. And they keep doing everything to ensure the success of your flight. I want to wish you a good launch. And I want to tell you that the hardware is ready. Many exciting research activities occurring. But uh, enjoy yourself and take very good care of the space station for us. Alexei, Oleg, Jeffrey, have a good lunch and all the best to you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Godspeed. Good luck. Mr. Chairman of the State Commission, our crew of Soyuz TMA 2720M are ready for the flight. All right, Alexei, turn left, raise your hands, wave. Jeff, look here. Bye bye, all the best. Godspeed. Good luck, good luck. Chairman, the crew of uh, the Soyuz vehicle has successfully arrived to the launch pad. We are ready for the flight. This way, please. This way, no rush. Attention, please. Smile. Good 
black. The black. Dan Hartman, Deputy ISS Program Manager, the power of a pre-dawn launch of a Soyuz vehicle, Dan. Uh, your thoughts as you watch the uh, TRIO take uh, flight to the station and the significance of this launch. Yeah, it was spectacular, Rob, especially after the weeks of effort that they had to do to get this vehicle ready with all the wind conditions that they have. The pad teams did such a tremendous job to repair for it. To see that launch and see the crew on their way to the International Space Station arriving in about five and a half hours from now, was a tremendous speed. The, inter the space station itself has already maneuvered itself into some docking orientation in support of this, uh, the docking that'll take place, and it'll be great to get us back to a, a complement of six on board the station. Now, once that crew is back to a, uh, a half dozen on board, uh, how about the volume of work that lies ahead here in the weeks and months ahead? Sure, they're going to be extremely busy. The uh, pace of vehicles coming to the space station won't slow down until about the mid-April time period. Uh, we have an orbital launch out of KSC here in the next few days, uh, called or Orbital ATK-6, carrying a full load of cargo and a couple of payloads that actually will uh, support station, will do a lot of transfers onto the station, and once it leaves, they'll, they have a couple more payloads that they'll perform. We also have a progress launch on the 31st of this month, and then SpaceX will get their, uh, their vehicle off the ground probably the first week of uh, April. And uh, in it is uh, a, an inflatable module that we'll install on the space station. And at the same time, we'll have both the SpaceX mission, or the SpaceX Dragon, and the orbital Cygnus attached to the space station at the same time. That will be a first. And then from another commercial aspect with this inflatable module on the side of the node, it kind of really shows that we're, to, we're starting to really put some focus on the commercialization of space station. Bill Gerstenmeyer, NASA's Associate Administrator for Human Exploration. Bill, the Russians have pulled off a trifecta, their third launch in six days. Soyuz headed to the station. The importance of this launch, all of this activity, and what lies ahead for the station. Yeah, just a tremendous amount of activity here at the Cosmodrome. Uh, the three launches in this short period of time is just absolutely amazing. Um, even this launch, getting the vehicle on the pad with the high winds and having to stand down for a day to, to continue with the operations was just a really testament to how serious the Russians treat this business, how serious and focused they are, just like all of us are in spaceflight. You, you know, when you start thinking things are easy, then you get in trouble. So that just a tremendous concentration. This flight really kicks off a tremendous increment on board station, lots of research, lots of cargo vehicles, lots of activity on board the space station. So we'll potentially get to see very soon a, um, a Cygnus launch, a Progress launch, and a SpaceX launch in, in a very short order of time. So just as the Cosmodrome just did these multiple launches, you'll see multiple dockings on board the space station. But it's really not the dockings, it's not the launches, it's the research behind that. So these spacecraft are bringing a tremendous amount of research when we increase our crew size to six, just the research tempo will pick up. So just an exciting time on Space Station, essentially enabled by this wonderful, beautiful launch we got to see today in Kazakhstan. Bill, in the background of the drama of these launches themselves, sometimes it's forgotten about the strength of the international partnership. Was How is that exhibited today and what was pulled off and what lies ahead in the weeks to come? Again, I just see a tremendous cooperation between us and our Russian partners. Uh, at the State Commission, uh, Natalia Korolev, uh, Korolev's daughter, was there, and she talked to the crew and addressed the crew and talked to them as an international crew. And she said, uh, you know, her father, Sergei Pavlich, if he would have been here, he would have been proud of seeing this international team coming together. 
So when I see her reflect that and think about the wonderful things that have come from this cooperation that, that her father could have never imagined when he was in the middle of racing the U.S. to space, now we're going hand in hand to space as a team. And, and she sees that and she recognizes how special and wonderful this is. So it was really touching to see her do that and bring that memory forward. It's also exciting to see this expedition kick off. And, and what we do today, I don't know what it'll bring us in the future, but we are essentially planting seeds of international cooperation that through the challenge of spaceflight will grow into something amazing that we will not see for decades. So I can't wait to see what will come in the future as, as she looked back and let me see her excitement of the international crew getting ready to go fly. So cooperation is important. We don't do this as a team. We, we have to do this as a team. We have to all work together. We can't do this individually. And today was an example of that international cooperation.